Due to the many different types of tails, it can be confusing while selecting the best tail configuration for an aircraft. How do you know when to use a T-tail, a V-tail, or a boom-mounted tail? What are their pros and cons? In this video, we will look at the different types of aft tails and their pros and cons. Tails are like little wings which are there for providing trim, stability, and control to the aircraft. A lot of different tail configurations have been used throughout the history of aviation. Let's go through them one by one. Conventional tail. This is the most common type of tail configuration and therefore, it is tried and tested. We should always consider this type for a new aircraft design, unless some special requirement requires an alternative solution. For most designs, it will provide adequate stability and control at the lightest weight. As the horizontal and vertical tail are directly mounted to the fuselage, there is sufficient girth and structure to provide rigidity. Moreover, it is easy to mechanize the control linkages. T-tail. This type is usually heavier than the conventional tail because the vertical tail needs to be made strong enough to carry the horizontal tail. An advantage of this type is what is known as the end plate effect, which allows for a smaller vertical tail size. End plate effect prevents spilling of the air around the tip of the lifting surface. By placing the horizontal tail on top of the vertical tail, it is no more in the wing wake or prop wash, which increases the efficiency of the horizontal tail. This also reduces buffeting on it. Another advantage is that the engine pods can be mounted on the aft fuselage, which reduces noise in the cabin. This type is good for spin recovery, as the rudder is not blanketed in the horizontal tail's wake at high angles of attack. One of the primary disadvantages is that the tail may end up inside the wing wake during stall, so the elevator may stop working when it is needed the most. Cruciform tail. This is a compromise between conventional and T-tail type. The horizontal tail is lifted up from its conventional position to avoid proximity to jet exhaust. This can be seen on the B-1B Lancer. Placing the horizontal tail here also exposes the lower part of the rudder to undisturbed air during high angles of attack conditions and spins, which means that the lower part of the rudder will have some control over the aircraft in these conditions. The weight penalty is lesser when compared to T-tails, but there is no end plate effect. H-tail. This type is used to place the vertical tails in undisturbed air during high angles of attack or to position the rudders within the prop wash on a multi-engine aircraft to increase control during an engine-out condition. The overall height of the aircraft can be reduced by using this type when a single vertical tail is too tall. It is heavier than a conventional tail, but there is an end plate effect on the horizontal tail, so the horizontal tail size can be reduced. On the famous A-10 aircraft, this type of tail was used to hide the hot engine nozzles from heat-seeking missiles. V-tail. This type was intended to reduce the wetted area, and hence drag of the tail. As the tail surfaces have a dihedral, the horizontal and vertical forces on the aircraft are projections of the force exerted upon the V-surfaces. In reality, extensive research has shown that V-tails need to be made bigger, giving about the same total area of a conventional tail for sufficient stability and control. However, there is still less interference drag on the V-tail. In a V-tail, the rudder and elevator are combined as rudder vators and so, their controls need to be mixed for proper movement. In a V-tail design, when the right rudder pedal is pressed, the nose of the aircraft yaws to the right as desired. However, due to the deflection of the control surfaces, there is also a rolling to the left opposite to the direction of the turn. This results in what is called adverse roll yaw coupling. Inverted V-tail. This type avoids the adverse roll yaw coupling problem of the V-tail type. The airplane rolls in the direction of the turn, and this is called proverse roll yaw coupling. A disadvantage of this type is that it can be difficult to provide enough ground clearance, which can lead to tail strike issues. Y-tail. This is similar to a V-tail, but the dihedral angle is lesser, and a third surface is added below the V-tail. This third surface contains the rudder whereas the V-surface provide pitch control, so there is no need of mixing of controls. There is still reduced interference drag as compared to a conventional tail. For a pusher aircraft, the vertical tail can also act as a tail skid to protect the propeller. Clearance during takeoff and landing can still be a problem for this type. Twin tails. 
This type is used to position the rudders away from the aircraft centerline, which can become blanketed by the wing or forward part of the fuselage at high angles of attack. The main reason this type is used is to reduce the height of the tail, as compared to a single vertical tail. This configuration is usually heavier than an equal area single tail, but it is more effective. Many modern fighter aircraft have this type. Boom Mounted Tails This type is usually used for pusher propeller configuration aircraft. A heavy jet engine can be placed near the center of gravity in this type. Tail booms are typically heavier than a conventional fuselage construction. Twin booms can have different placement of the horizontal tail, giving different configurations such as U-tail, mid-mounted tail, or a twin boom inverted V-tail. The design choice depends on whether the horizontal tail needs to be placed in the prop wash or not. Placing the tail in the prop wash gives more control, but also increased drag. In this video, we saw that the major factors affecting tail configuration are aerodynamics, stability and control, structural layout and aeroelasticity. If you found this video informative, please like it and subscribe to the channel. You can check out these videos next for more information on aircraft design. Thank you for watching.